A data engineer is an IT worker whose primary job is to prepare data for analytical or operational uses. These software engineers are typically responsible for building data pipelines to bring together information from different source systems. Hello everyone, this is Pracheta from Edureka and in today's session we are going to talk about how to become a data engineer. So without any further delay, let's discuss our today's agenda. So in today's agenda, we will discuss why become a data engineer. Then we will see who is a data engineer. Next, we will see data engineer job description and skills according to different companies. After that, we will see how to become a data engineer and how to get started with it. So why to become a data engineer? The answer can lie in the demand for this job. According to LinkedIn, there's over 32,000 vacant jobs in Indian job market, while in the US job market, there's over 197,000 jobs for data engineers. Now, if we talk about Bangalore, which is famously regarded as the Silicon Valley of India or the IT capital of India, there is a vacancy of over 13,000 jobs for data engineers. While in the Silicon Valley of the world, California, there's over 17,000 vacant jobs for data engineers. Now we will see what is the salary for data engineers. Since there's a lot of vacancy, the demand for this job is pretty high, though the competition is not that high. In India, the average salary of a data engineer is 8 lakhs per annum, while the average salary of a data engineer in US market is $116,624 per year. These data is based on Glassdoor. Next, we will see the top companies that are hiring data engineers. This can range from Flipkart, TCS, Fractal, Cognizant, Dell, Amazon, Genpak, JP Morgan, Salesforce, KPMG, Mindtree, HP, Deloitte, IBM, and even Accenture. There's a lot more other companies that are hiring data engineers, but these are the top few to mention. Next, we will see who is a data engineer. So according to definition, data engineers work in a variety of settings to build systems that collect, manage, and convert raw data into usable information for data scientists and business analysts to interpret. The amount of data an engineer works with varies with the organization but particularly with respect to its size. The bigger the company, the more complex the analytics architecture and the more data the engineer will be responsible for. Data engineers work in conjunction with data science teams, improving data transparency and enabling businesses to make more trustworthy business decisions. Now we'll see how a data engineer helped the organization. They help the organization by creating optimal data pipeline structure, assembling large complex data set, identifying and designing and implementing internal processes, and even create data tools for the analytics team and the data scientist team, and secure and separate data across national boundaries. The job description and skills required by a data engineer, according to IBM, is the requirement for Hadoop, Hive, Spark or PySpark, SQL, Uzi, and knowledge of data modeling in Hive, and knowledge of programming languages like Java, Python, Scala, and even knowledge of SQL scripting and BDW data modeling. According to Dell, they require JavaScript, SQL Server, Teradata, Hadoop, Spark, R in their job description. Few skills to mention that is required by a data engineers are organizational skills, ETL tools, database concepts, machine learning, data APIs, programming languages like R, Python, data warehousing, and distributed systems. These knowledge can help you get a better knowledge of data engineering. Next, we will see the tools required by a data engineer. The tools are namely Azure, Hive, Hadoop, Amazon Web Services, Python, Apache Spark, Amazon Redshift, and Amazon S3. Next, we will look into the roles and responsibilities of a data engineer. They are mainly 
designing and developing and even tuning and implementing database objects across a wide range of technologies to support applications. A data engineer even has to develop and tune ETLs and APIs to automate data movement. They have to work closely with different team members to integrate new components and features into the current application ecosystem. They even have to evaluate industry trends for opportunities to utilize new technologies and implement these into the solution stack as appropriate. A data engineer is also required to perform tuning with respect to executor sizing and other environmental parameters, code optimization, partition tuning, etc. Now, how to become a data engineer? The roadmap to become a data engineer can go like from being proficient in programming languages to learning automation and scripting, then understanding your databases and mastering data processing techniques to studying cloud computing and internalizing infrastructure. Now we'll see how to get started with becoming a data engineer. To get started with the learning process, you can look into our Edureka YouTube channel to start with. Even with no prior knowledge of data engineering, one can just go through the videos and get an understanding of the whole subject. We even have Edureka blogs to help you with detailed information on the topics and can give you a clearer picture. Apart from these, we even have premium courses which can help you understand the topic at ease with the personal trainer and 24 hours access to lifetime content. You can learn here at your own pace with a live trainer who is extremely efficient and knowledgeable and experienced in the particular field. These courses can even get you certificates which you can add in your CV for better opportunity in your job market. So that's it for today. I hope this video helped you and will help you decide how to become a data engineer. So that's it for today. Thank you and see you again in our next video.